I'm Hannah and this is my lovely assistant Tyler <laughs> and today I'm going to be teaching you proper marching techniques. Okay so we're going to start with the proper posture for marching and this we're going to start with our feet and work our way up. So for your feet you want to make sure that your feet are at a 45 degree angle and just imagine you have like a pizza slice just right there in between your feet <laughs> okay and you want to make sure that your weight is balanced on the platforms of your feet you don't want to be leaning back onto your heels or anything like that because then you'll be off balance um okay and then you want your legs to be straight but we want to make sure that we're not locking our knees so you want the knees to be relaxed okay and then the next we have our hips so your hips need to be level with the ground and not, you know, sticking your butt out. So, so imagine it's like a bowl of soup. And if you're leaning your, fit, your hips too far forward, it's gonna be spilling out the front. And if you're leaning too far backwards, it's gonna be spilling out the back and you don't want that either. So you want it to be nice and level, just like that. Okay, and you'll just wanna keep your arms just at your side and we're gonna move up to the shoulders and the chest. So you want them to be nice and elevated. And for this, just imagine somebody's got a string and it's attached to your spine and they're just pulling it all the way up. So you're just wanting to be as tall as you can be possibly. And then we're gonna go to the chin. So your chin should be just slightly elevated, higher than uh, parallel to the ground, okay? And that's looking pretty good. Next, we're gonna talk about proper instrument carriage. And we're gonna use the saxophone as an example. So for proper saxophone carriage, you want to just take your hands and put them on the instrument where you would put your hands on the keys. And then you wanna put your horn parallel to the ground. Yeah, just like that. Okay, and then when we go to horns up, you're just gonna bring your instrument up and you'll make sure that it's straight up and down with your body so that it's not angled to the left or to the right. And you also want to make sure that your mouthpiece is right where your mouth is. Okay, so now we're going to work on forward marching. So for the first thing for forward marching, we're going to have our horn in the down position. And just to recap, on the, the posture, you wanna make sure that your feet are at a 45 and your legs are straight, but your knees are not locked. Your hips level and your chest and shoulders are elevated and your chin is just slightly above parallel. That looks great, except for your, your saxophone. Yes, there you go, awesome. Okay, so the big, the biggest rule with marching is you always have to step off with your left foot, okay? So when stepping, we're going to step, imagine like you're squeezing out a tube of toothpaste. So you have your foot on the ground and notice that my foot, my toe is elevated like someone ha has a string attached to my toe and they're just pulling it upward and then my heel is on the ground. So when you're stepping, you're gonna step out and roll your foot. And for your legs, you're gonna make sure that your legs always stay straight when you're marching. And don't lock your knees again. Your knees should always be um, relaxed. And you wanna make sure when you're marching forward that you're shifting. When you take that first step, you wanna shift your weight from the platforms of your feet to your left heel and your right foot or your right toe so that you energize your step when you're stepping forward so that you won't uh, so that you won't lose time okay so now we're just gonna try taking your first step and Tyler's gonna demonstrate what that looks like okay five six seven push and one yeah so that's really good except for we want to try to shift our weight forward just a little bit more so you'll notice that his foot is all the way on the ground on the back and you want to actually pick up your foot a little bit so that your weight is on that toe okay so we're just going to do that one more time okay 
five, six, seven, push, and one. Yeah, so that looks a lot better. So next, I'm gonna teach you how to stop marching. Okay, so we call this the close. And for this, you're gonna be, it'll be on the last count, and you'll be on your right foot. So you're gonna stop with your right foot out, and you'll wanna make sure that it's angled out just a little bit so that you'll set up for the 45 degree angle. And then you're just gonna bring your left foot in. Okay? So we're gonna try that. So take four steps forward and then close. Okay? Five, six, seven, push in, one, two, three, push in, close. So now we're gonna do back marching. And for this, it's really important that you keep in mind where your hips are. Because an issue with back marching a lot is people will be sticking their butts out and that doesn't look good. <laughs> okay, so just remember that bowl of soup analogy and don't let your bowl of soup dump out onto the ground. Okay, so when you're back marching, you want to lift up onto your toes and also step back with your left foot at the same time. So it's gonna be one fluid motion like that. Okay, so we're gonna do that first step. Okay, five, six, seven, push and one. Okay, that's really good. All right, so it's really important that you are always staying on your toes because if you let yourself go back on your heel, that can be dangerous because you can trip but also it messes with your sound and you start doing this weird bobby thing and it just <laughs> looks bad. <laughs> so we're gonna take four steps back and close, okay? Five, six, seven, push in, one, two, three, four, close. Okay, that's really good. So the next thing that we're gonna talk about is gonna be sliding. So for this, you wanna make sure that your body is always facing towards the sideline because we do this so that the audience can hear you playing your instrument because that's why we're out here. <laughs> okay, so for slides, I want you to actually face this way. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you wanna make sure that the rotation starts in your hips and it continues through your core and it ends at your shoulders. So this helps you set up to have shoulders that are parallel with the sideline, okay? So let me see your slide, okay? That looks good. You wanna make sure that you take this shoulder and you wanna think about bringing it as far back as you can, but again, you wanna make sure that you're not getting too much tension in your shoulders and bringing them up because that also looks goofy. <laughs> okay all right so i want you to just march forward four steps at a slide okay five six seven push in one two three four close. okay now we're gonna do the four steps forward but instead of closing we're gonna do i'm gonna teach you how to do a right flank and a left flank so basically, you're just gonna take those four steps forward. For a right flank, you're gonna stop on your right foot and you're gonna take your left foot and you're just gonna cross over it. And that, that motion there is gonna be really snappy. Okay, so let's see that. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, and then for the left flank, it's gonna be the same thing. You stop on that right foot, but you're just, it's a little bit easier. You're just angling your foot out to the left and then turning, okay? So we're gonna do one of those and you're just gonna take four steps forward and then, okay. Five, six, seven, push in one, two, three, four, yes. All right. So for mark time, you're gonna bring your feet together so your toes are gonna be touching. And then 
you just bring your heels up about an inch off of the ground and it's like you're marching in place so you're not actually going to be going forward you just take your feet off of the ground about an inch and you just count your count your notes okay and make sure that you're not rocking your body back and forth so i'm just going to have you mark time for four counts okay five six seven one two three four okay awesome